Hey everybody, Ryan Horn from RyansTechTips.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can transfer ownership of a Google site like this that belongs to a specific domain. For an example, this site belongs to a HowlSchools.com Google account. And how to transfer the ownership of that site to your personal Gmail. Now, if you try to send this to yourself, and here's the personal Gmail of myself, and I go to the pencil icon, and I'm going to say, is owner. So I'm trying to transfer this from the Howell Schools version of me to my personal account, and then I press Save Changes. I get this message, are you sure you want to transfer ownership? The new owner will be notified. I press Yes. And then I get this message, I cannot transfer ownership because it can only be transferred to someone inside this HowellSchools.com domain. It has to be the same domain as the owner. So how do we figure that out? Well, here's what we're going to do. We are going to use what's called shared drives as a workaround for this. So stick with me on this video. There's several steps. Feel free to pause the video, rewatch the video as needed. Go at a pace that works for you. The first thing I need to do is figure out what in the world this Google site is called. So before I exit my Google site, I want to make sure I remember it's called Mr. Horn's po Portfolio. Okay, good. I'm going to need that. In a new tab, I'm going to open up my Google Drive because I need to track down Mr. Horn's portfolio on Google Drive. So I'm going to do a search here for that Google site. Here it is right here, Mr. Horn's portfolio. Okay, leave that here because here's what we're going to do. Over on the left, we're going to create a new shared drive that we are going to temporarily place this Google site into. So now I'm going to navigate to shared drives and I'm going to single click new once shared drive is selected. And I'm going to type a name for this shared drive. I'm going to call this one Google Sites because this is where I'm going to keep my Google site. Okay, so now I have this new shared drive. It's creating right now. You see it's called Google Sites. I'm going to go back to my drive. Well, I'm going to need to do that search again for my portfolio. Here is Mr. Horn's portfolio. This is the one I need. I can either take this document, click and drag, hover over shared drives, and I can drop it into Google Sites this way. Or I can right click on my Google Site in my drive, and I'm going to move this document, move to, and then I can click share drive and then I can find that Google Sites share drive and I can move it here that way. So you can drag and drop or right click and choose move to. And then I'm going to say move. Now you'll notice on my drive it something happened and it said one item moved to Google Sites. Members have access. So now what I need to do is switch back over to shared drives. I'm going to find that Google Sites and open it up. Okay, so my portfolio now lives here in shared drives in the Google Sites folder, but it's still not sent to my personal Gmail, and I'm not the owner with my personal Gmail. So I have to do another step. I have to add my personal Gmail as a member to this Google Site. Right now, there's only one person in this Google Site, and that's the Howell Schools version of me. So what I'm going to do is click Add Members, and now I'm going to tape type in my personal Gmail. And once you type in your personal Gmail, you're probably going to want to make yourself a manager. So make yourself a manager, give yourself your personal Gmail version of yourself the highest available rights, which is manager. And then you can press send. So it's notifying me that I'm sharing this with someone outside my domain organization. I'm going to press continue. And I'm going to now notice that there's two people in Google Sites, and that would be the whole school's version of me and the personal Gmail version of me. Okay, we're almost done. We're getting closer. I'm going to switch now to my personal Gmail account, my personal Google account. And I'm in my personal Google account now, as you can see here. And I'm going to go to Shared Drive in my personal Google account. If you were using a Chromebook, you would have to log off that Chromebook, sign out, 
and then sign in as the personal version of you with your personal Gmail account. That's how you're going to do this. I'm using an incognito tab on my computer to switch back and forth. So again, I'm logged in as the personal version of myself. I'm going to go to Shared Drive, and I'm going to open up Google Sites, double-click that, and here is my portfolio, but it's still owned by the Howell Schools version of me. Okay, so the next step we're going to do, we're going to take this Google site and we're going to get it out of shared drive and we're going to put it into my personal Google accounts my drive so I'm going to either click and drag to put it into my drive and if you want to put it in a specific folder you can or you can right click on it and say move to and you can move it out of shared drive and into my drive last time we used right click and move to this time we're going to click and drag I'm going to put it in my drive. You get this message, moving files outside of shared drive, change access and ownership. That's exactly what I want. So I'm going to press OK. It's going to move it. Now you see Google Sites, the shared drive is empty. So let's find this. We're going to go to my drive and we're going to look for that portfolio. Here we go. Let's open it up. Now let's see who the ownership belongs to. We're going to go to the Share With Others button. I'm logged in with the personal version of me right now. Let's see who is the owner. Ah, now you'll see that at gmail.com, I am now the owner of this Google site. The Howell Schools domain is not the owner, and I should be good to go. So I'm going to press Done. I have to do one more thing. I'm going to have to republish my site. So I'm going to click Publish, and then Publish here. And it's going to give me a new web address. So you're going to need to copy and paste this link. This is your new web address for your personal version of your site. And you're going to want to check your links because if your links don't open for whatever reason, you're going to need to reshare those links and make them open them up to everyone. All right, everybody, I know that was a lengthy video. I hope that helps on how to get ownership from your HowellSchools.com to your personal Gmail account.